Cheer, 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 cheer. It's your boy Ant-Man Fonte. Hold it down for the fans out there that want to be great. I'm uh, Mike Shane, a.k.a. Mike the Hitman Heart, a.k.a. the motherfucking Green Ranger. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, y'all don't call me either or, you feel me? So, Mike Yeesh. Shane up in this bit, you know? Yeesh. I can dig that, but, yo, it's your boy, the one and only Keenan Austin, a.k.a. the Rated R Superstar, a.k.a. the best in the world at everything I do. If you don't know, you'll know. Welcome to When Wrestling Was Real To Me, the official podcast. You know what I'm saying? We're over here doing it big. We are very excited, ladies and gentlemen. We have put a lot of work and effort into this. But it's not about us. It's about the fans out there. And yes. we're going to give you the best content. We're going to be great. And we're going to be great for the fans out there that want to be great. Now we have our ring announcer that is going to be presenting some of our topics. And we want to introduce Deshaun Brown. You know what I'm saying? Big Head Brown. Hold it down for the fans out there. He's going to be giving us some of our uh, avenues, some of our angles that we're going to be talking about and discussing. We're going to be going through old times, yeah. new times. Yeah. It doesn't matter what time it is. It's all mm -hmm. about when wrestling was real to you. Right and we want everybody day. to get involved with this. Even if you're not in current wrestling, again, it's when wrestling was real to you. To you. I'm very excited right now. It's your boy at Man Fonte. I'm over here telling my bros, you know what I'm saying? Hold it down for the fans out there. Cheer, cheer, cheer. So Before we start, I just want to say congratulations, niggas. Yes. Yeah. Because guess what? We had the plan. We executed it. And the first step into being successful is actually going through with the fucking plan. Yes. And absolutely. that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Nigga, yo, yeah, man. congrats, yo. For real. Yes. Yeah, man. I'm happy for all of us. This is going to be big, yo. It's only going to get better from here. You feel me? It's only up. Gonna get better. It's up, baby. So. And I also want to thank everybody for the already support we've been already receiving for yes, this sir. beautiful channel. If it wasn't for y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all wouldn't, we would be having the extra motivation. So thank you for the extra motivation Facts. for us to go ahead and make sure. Because, yo, y'all comments, we was reading the comments, yeah, yeah. everything. Y'all y'all was really interacting with us. And, and talking that shit, Yeah. Nah, they, I agree with them. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yo, for real, if it wasn't for y'all, it wouldn't have pushed us to what we're doing right now. So, yes, man, for real, appreciate. real rap, we appreciate that. But we're going to get motherfucking into it, you hear me? Cheer, 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 cheer. You know what it is. You dig? We're just going to give you guys greatness. There's a lot of memories that we all have. I know for a fact that everybody's not on the wrestling tip right now. You dig? So, that's the whole point of it being real to me or when it's real to you. We want everybody to tell us the experience when it was real to you. We right. want everyone to share their experiences because of that one moment in your life. You was on Cloud Nine watching some wrestling. I don't care if it was right. NWO. Right. I don't care if it was Steve. Everybody Even got wrestling. Goldberg's yeah, trash. Right. It was Goldberg. You know what I'm saying? You were watching for a season. Yeah, you, you know, know it was something. The Rock. You, you were know, watching for a cold. season. The list right. goes on. So all I'm going to say is just keep in mind when it was real to you. Yeah. Right. And when it was real you to you. You don't got to be up to date. You know what I mean? No. When it was it's real just, to you, that's what we be reminiscing. You know what I'm saying? we all, yes. Most of us are Attitude Era kids. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Golden Era kids. You Definitely. Know? So it's really for us. To keep it 100 with you, Bret Hart kind of was in the Attitude Era and it started a little bit with Shawn Michaels, but more or less with Shawn Michaels and his attitude towards him, but also Stone Cold. And he also put Canada on his back. So at that point in time, he was shouting out Canada. Who who in their right mind was, was really pushing for Canada? Let's be serious He's here. from Canada. I know, but nobody <laughs> ever was just like, oh, man, we repping Canada. Nobody was ever doing that but Bret Hart. He had a whole country on his back and with the Hart Foundation. You, bro, you literally just answered the question. That gave birth to it because that was Bret Hart, Bret Hart transforming into his heel because he was, he was loved by everybody. The Canada shit turned him into a heel. Everybody was hating on him. He, he had a few with Shawn Michaels. He had a few with Brett, which escalated, elevated them niggas. And it birthed the Attitude Era, bro. He, he was nine months pregnant and birthed that shit. Hell Stop no. playing with Brett. It's, yo, well, I think, it's I fact. Think yo, if y'all agree with what I'm saying, with the, with comment the, on the shit if you agree or disagree with what the fuck I just said. Well, Shawn Michaels kicked Bret Hart in his face in a wheelchair. I really like that moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> exactly. Moments, moments like those that yeah, Bret... Yeah. Yo, moments like those that Bret Hart brought out 
created the attitude era. Bret Hart's whole discontent with where wrestling was going, where wrestling was going, and how he didn't like it, how, how he's beefing with Shawn Michaels, that all birthed that feud, which birthed the fucking attitude era. Well, I think Shawn Michaels. Am I right or am I right? Though? I think Shawn Michaels birthed the attitude era. And I think Stone Cold, with, like, was just. He was the epitome of the Attitude Era. It just wasn't the Attitude Era yet. And his beef with Bret Hart, Bret Hart elevated. elevated it because he basically told Bret Hart to shut up and stop crying and go back to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> he kept trying to break his flags. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. And it's, you know, I, I can't get mad at Bret Hart for trying to defend Canada again. i just never seen that before. To this I, I, day. I, I, I. Wait, right, let, let, we let, have the Raptors. Let Keenan answer first. I got one more question go. to ask. I got I to ask both of y'all this because I'm getting tired of this, man. I got to ask this shit. But go ahead. Bret Hart have? was a part of it. Excuse me. He was the beginning or the genesis. He started it, but he wasn't a part of it. He he is. Did he did he did not help give birth to the attitude here? He is the. Uh, <laughs> he's one of them um, women that pretty much just gave birth to a kid that she's not even gonna take care of. <laughs> I mean, that's like, a, that's where I mean, no, oh, hey, no oh. disrespect, but oh, that's oh. what it boils down to is oh. Bret Hart is <laughs> gonna be that wrestler oh. that he gave birth to something and he wasn't even part of it. He didn't spend no years. He didn't do. He didn't nurse it. He didn't raise it. He didn't see it graduate. He didn't see nothing. He didn't see, he, but he, he was, he did have, you know, he intimacies birthed. of becoming, you know, the birth of the Attitude Era, but he wasn't a part of it. So you answered my question. Yeah, he dropped, he dropped the load and then he left. <laughs> Hey, I'll take it. Pause. I'll take it. 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 I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll don't it. I'll take it. i i i why do niggas hate him so much? I don't understand. It was someone on my comments asked the same thing. What's up with the Bret Hart hate? Like, He's a piece of he shit. Cries. Man. Cry. Cries about bullshit. Nah, dog. No, he cries, he bro. Cries, bro. <laughs> Yo, he. First of all, he's the first nigga to put his hands on Vince McMahon on some bullshit. Knock him the fuck out. No, because the crazy part was him. No, I'm talking about on TV. It was when Bret Hart was going to a heel mode, and these niggas is fighting over the commentary table like this, and, yo, and but Vince McMahon was actually putting in work with the nigga, yo. Yo, sure, bro, bro, listen, almost got his ass bro, on Vince McMahon. Nah, man, nah. <laughs> well, if that was the case, how come he knocked him the fuck out in real life? Because he let he let him have his one, dog. Nah, <laughs> he let him have his one. He gave him his fate, yo. But yo, Bret Hart, I remember that it was one week. Bret Hart's just running down the ramp, fucking everybody up. He was just on a just mad as he was on. He was mad. He got screwed. He kept getting screwed, crying about it. But guess what he was doing? He was beating niggas the fuck up. Every time Stone Cold was coming for it, he came right down that ramp, trashing them. Shawn Michaels trashing them. Oh, you know what I'm saying? No, he was. Oh, oh, ain't no up. What? I remember him getting kicked in the face in a wheelchair. Right. How did he end up in a wheelchair? Hey. Man, listen. How did he end up in a wheelchair? Please tell me. And then Shawn Michaels put him back down in the wheelchair, Please dog. Please tell me. And then out of the wheelchair. Y'all, y'all kill me with that. Please the, the, tell the, the, me. The Bret Hart okay. slander got to die. They got to go, man. Look, man, no. we over here just talking about So y'all met Bret Hart in real life. What y'all going to do? Call me a punk. You, that's what you do? I'm going to tell me he's a punk. Would you ask for his autograph or anything? I, I would say I have a brother that is a big fan of yours. Hell fucking no. I'm not taking no damn If you were by yourself and you saw Bret Hart, but you're not going to fucking get a picture I'm with him. I'm dead ass serious. I ain't taking it. Yo, Bret Hart is, is on my... He's on Cap. my top, top five ain't shit. Colin list. Kaepernick. Whatever. Capping underpants. Whatever. Give a fuck. Cap a pillar. Ho Hogan. Hogan's party. John Cena just graduated to... I, I'll probably get a picture with John Cena. Because before nah. him, I wouldn't get no fucking picture with John Cena. Now I'm getting a picture with John Cena. What are you talking about? He blew up some way enough. <laughs> do, 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 do. Where, that's like, <laughs> it was a Roman Reigns match when he got his ass whooped by Roman Yo, Reigns. Hey, so who, yeah, who, who, what wrestler would you not take a picture with if you see him in real life? Um... To be honest with you, if I see the wrestler rule like that, I'm not gonna take a picture with it. It's gonna be Sheamus, bro. I don't like Sheamus. 
<laughs> I don't <laughs> like Seamus, dog. Seamus, yeah, Seamus right. ain't bother me. No, nah, man, I don't like the bro kid. Oh, no, okay, I take it even. I don't like Drew McIntyre. What in the hell? The reason why I don't like Drew McIntyre because Drew McIntyre is way too big for his special move to be a drop kick and a single leg it's, drop kick at that. He don't even got two kick. legs on him. So let me make this make sense. If I was going to kick you with one leg, if I was going to kick you with two, what would be stronger? He kicked you with one leg falling on his back. He's too big. It depends. He it depends don't slam the, nobody. Uh, he better hit somebody with the ultra slam. It depends. You got all these people big. Like what Baron Corbin hit you with the end of days and stuff. Some hot moves. He over there hit you with a kick. A one-legged kick. I mean, I I don't really care for McIntyre. Who would I walk past besides Hulk Hogan, bitch ass? Fuck Hogan. Yeah, fuck Hulk Hogan. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really hate nobody else other than Hulk Hogan. Oh, no. Nah, I fuck with Dom now. I just not like Dominique. I like him now for some reason. Yeah, I, I like Dom now. Uh, but I'm trying to think, and even in our era, is there any Virgil. Similar? <laughs> that <man is> <laughs> hey, I no disrespect to Virgil, nah, man. I know you out here at the Dover Ball and shit trying to sell pictures and shit. Shout out to Virgil, man. He's still <laughs> hustling, dog. He's still the million top dollar champion in some people's eyes, man. More like your own, but Jesus. hey, man. Shout yeah, out to I, it's, it's it's Hulk Hogan to me. He's the only wrestler I've got. Oh, Goldberg. Jesus. Yeah, Goldberg. I'm walking right past that nigga, bro. Oh, man. I'm walking right past him. Yeah, well, fuck I'm walking, walking right, right past him. And, and he hurt my dude, but. <laughs> walk that's on not even by. Funny, man. You know, and you know what's sad? Yeah, so I'm going to walk on by. I'm going to walk right past his ass. Uh-oh. Like, I don't even know him. But you know what's sad? What what ended Bret Hart's career? That kick. A super kick. Oh, yeah, I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want my one. If I ever seen Goldberg, I'm going to just ask for my fade, and then maybe we can, you know what I'm saying? Talk after the Maybe fact. we can talk after, but I need my fade. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think he got hands anyway, bro. But He can hit you with that spear, that jack camera. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I hope he had bust a wall before y'all fight. Right. And give us Survivor Series, like a Survivor yeah, Series, fire. Survivor Series match would probably be my my favorite elimination match. Would probably be my favorite match. They had several great Survivor Series. One of the four staples in the WWF franchise. What we have WrestleMania, SummerSlam. We have uh, WrestleMania. That was Brett. WrestleMania. <laughs> WrestleMania, SummerSlam, oh my. <laughs> um, what is it? Royal Rumble and Survivor Series. Those are like the four that's always, always been, been there. there. Yeah. So I really, uh, I really like Survivor Series elimination match. Yeah, that yeah. was fire. You dig? What's, what's, what's yours, Kenny? For me, for me, as the dirtiest nigga alive, I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> but uh, for me, my favorite match type of all time. Honestly, he was at the right pay-per-view where it all started, but I'm going with the Elimination Chamber. I love the Elimination Chamber because it is it is the it's 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 almost like Armageddon Hell in a Cell but in a big ass pod like the Elimination Chamber dog, people get hurt, dog. And that very first one with those chains, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. When people were just getting back, back body drop, and you hear that smack. When you hear the chains, bro. Then when people were getting thrown through that plexiglass, I, I felt bad for Sean. He got through, man. Yeah, yeah, he did him dirty. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. he was dead, man. I thought Sean was dead. All right. But yeah, I go with elimination chamber. Elimination chamber. chamber. You was ladder. A l- ladder. By or, the way, Sean Michaels or, won or the first Survivor one. Series. Shawn Michaels won the first ever elimination chamber match. Just to throw it out. There. I mean, I love Shawn Michaels. Y'all, y'all not. Y'all see, I see what y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to make me fight Shawn Michaels. It's just y'all, y'all, y'all hate for Brett. This is what I don't understand. That's, that's all I'm saying. I love HBK though. Anyways, <laughs> my favorite match of all time coming up. I gotta go with TLC. The TLC matches was. That's what did it for me. The WrestleMania with the Hardy Boys, Dudley Boys, greatest. Ladder match TLC. That was the greatest match I ever seen in my life. At that time, because they just Edge Christian, they took it to the next level. With you just never seen shit like that before with with these high flyers, bro. Uh, uh. And that 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 does it for me, man. That that was just the craziest shit I've ever seen. I just remember just watching it with my dad and just 
and disbelief, disbelief that these dudes are out here sacrificing their bodies like that. It, it was crazy, bro. They bro. definitely took the tag team yeah. division to, to a whole new level. level yeah. Where it was like, to me, honestly, that might have been like the golden era that of the tag yeah, teams. Yeah, the golden era. Hell yeah, that was golden era tag teams. Because, you know, we had our... Hawk and Animals and Legion of Doom. They was right. cool, you know what I'm saying? But They had Owen and um, British Bulldog. Owen and British Bulldog. They was cool. Yeah, right. You feel me? They but was cool. But like you said, Hardy Boys took it to the next level. Hardy bro. Boys, Edge and, Edge and Christian, Christian, the Dudley Boys, Dudley Boys, APA. Man, Stone Cold and took it to the next, yeah. the next level. I mean, you stop playing. <laughs> yeah, nah, <laughs> I was always playing. Yeah, I had to think about that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have been a mean. Let me stop playing. Yeah. Look, they got the belt. Stone trying to hate on it. Shout out to Stone Cold Steve Austin. They make fully do love. Yeah, with the he got he got him in the sweet shit. Music. That was the most yeah. random yeah. shit. Yeah. That was so random, bro. <laughs> that tag team. That was so random to me. But um. Yeah, bro. Oh, snap. That was funny. That was wild. Oh, I had a debate with someone at work. The best, the top 10 entrance music of all time, or top 10 ring entrance. I had Gangrel in my top three. Yeah. Oh. Entrance. Gang, I had Gangrel my, with entrance. The nigga coming from under the ground. Uh, uh, I'm get, top five. Maybe three is pushing it. Top five entrances is gang ground coming five. from under the ground. Top five. I'll definitely give five. that. You've never seen nothing like I that, get, bro. With I the blood, five. yo, oh, bro. But it's what? like number five. That's like yo, the hardest it's number five. No, to me, that was the hardest entrance I've ever seen, bro. Uh, Just you've yo, never yo, seen yo, nothing yo, like that. Singles or can it also be factions. Nigga, he said single, entrance. like just in, entrance, just entrance, entrance wise. I can't just, say that then. What, what's what's your like in regards to style? Style, top five, and, of course, and, and, but top five, but of okay. course Undertaker. But I'm just We're saying. We're not gonna speak on the obvious, my yeah, man. Yeah, that's the hey. obvious. That's the obvious. Man, but that, that, that entrance. D generation X. I love their entrance. No. Yes. Game awesome I think entrance. no. As but, a group, as amazing entrance. I love, I love that. I me as a fan, I like their entrance. I like the NWO entrance a whole lot. Then it was the original. This nigga saying NWO. Nah, he, <laughs> he was doing so well. I know. He and was doing NWO so well. entrance in regards of. Oh, shit, was I liked when they first came out with the, the you know the. That but, was some biting but, off of DX shit. Well, well. No. That was to me the rebel because type scratching background. That was DX to style. No, because style. they had that whole, the whole parental advisory thing, which was a little bit different to me. The X's stuff was more raunchy, whereas the parental advisory thing was kind of like. I feel like DX influenced NWO. I'm sorry. I, I think I think it was I, I think it was a little vice versa. I just think DX pushed it further. There was nothing that the NWO. There was nothing that DX was doing that the NWO was doing. Well, no, I think DX was the answer to the to the NWO. The NWO was there. DX was the answer to the NWO. Is so that DX pushed it way further? The NWO was supposed to be cool. DX took the coolness until the next level. DX is better than NWO. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> Overall, yes. I'm not saying because I'm wearing a shirt, but I'm saying this is a fact. It is it's definitely a fact. Well, the NWO does have way too many members, so you can't. Way count. too many. That's what. Well, that's what I'm count. saying. They was like so the, 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 the um. Why do you why do you need all these people? Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? DX stood out with four people, bro. Let, let me ask you this. Name two one, actually start off with two. Name one entrance in WCW that was really hot though. Other than NWO, I can't name a hot WCW entrance. I don't know why the hell you named NWO. Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat. Yeah, yo. Harlem Heat. What? Harlem Heat was good. Harlem Heat was good. Yo, that was good. Damn, good. Yo, I got you another one, dog. DDP. Diamond Dallas. Yeah, of course. Come on, man. Yeah, Harlem Heat. Yeah, that was high entrance. DDP. Other than that, other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than that, I can't name one entrance that was hot. Other than but I just can't put them top five. I just thought there were so many people that had dope interests. In just bro, like to, it was just the originality. No, no, it was just the originality for me, bro. Just no, no one's coming. No, no, no. no one's coming up under the ground like that. that you feel fire. me? With the fire and spitting up that that was so lit, bro. Like that to me, fire. it was it was lit. Was Him, lit. Edge, and uh, and the the brood. That was yo. That was, no, was a slept brood, on yeah, yeah, yeah. stable. That was a slept on stable, bro. Uh, they they was raw, bro. Now wasn't the hardest with the brood. Mm -mm. Uh, it was Christian. 
it was, was first Christian. and first it was Edge and Christian. It was Ed Christian and Gangrel. And then eventually it became the new brew with, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Hardys. Right. Right. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I, I just I I I wasn't uh I don't know, man. I I, I I don't know if I would put that top five, but I'm not hating on it. I wasn't yeah, the whole top five. I wasn't the whole I'm vampire thing. I, I just wasn't so that. Either. But I'm I'm not hating on it. Um I, I like Chris game. Jericho's entrance a Chris lot. Chris Jericho's definitely Chris Jericho. top. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's yeah. Chris Fire. Oh, no, never mind. Now it ain't, it ain't in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 listen. Yo, I will put, I will put it. It's too, it's too, it's too many dope entrances. No, overall. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, give but I, but I, I see what you're saying. I give him ten. It's, it's I can't give him five. It's one of his, it's, I'm no, done with five. It's one of a kind. Yeah, it's just. Because Ray Mysterio was the only person who did it after him. And they, he didn't do it cool like they did. Exactly. It, it was up. just. It's that's just something you've never yeah, seen yeah, yeah, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. For me, it's like when when there's some, something you've never really seen like that. Yeah. And the originality of it. I just love why I didn't really care care for Gangrel's matches. I just loved wa- watching him come out, bro. I just thought it was hard. Like, I just didn't like the heavy breathing in the beginning. He was like, oh. <laughs> with the fangs and, <laughs> yeah, like, and and the song on top of that was well, crazy. The, now the, yeah, the song was fire. It fit. It fit. <laughs> It's yo, I loved it, yo. <laughs> that was like I felt like Blade was about to come out, you know what I mean? Just start, start sliding shit up with the sword, you know what I mean? But you can't listen to that shit at night, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. That, that it always stood out to me though. Even in that WWF Attitude Jeez. game, you could create your own entrance. You know, I had that motherfucking entrance. Oh, no, you know what I mean? That, come on, dog. But yeah, that, to me, I just I gave it like top five. The match I started to add to Erica, Erica. The match I started to add to Era was Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bret Hart. Absolutely, 100%. That's the match I started to add to Era. 100%. So, here's where, I mean, give me your reason why before I rebuttal. Where do I start? Hey. Just, um, for one, Bret Hart whole attitude changed in regards of he went from this old kid friendly, I love the kid, taking the guys all, giving to the kid, and then became a heel. And people didn't like him, and um, and I felt like that match, like, just how he came out, he came out on some gangster shit. He wasn't all like, you know, he came out with his glasses. He came out, like, his face, everything, just ready for war, bro. He just came out reckless. And I, that stood out to me a lot because of being a Bret Hart fan, I'm like, yo, he in rare form right now. Like, huh? bro, he really wanted smoke with Stone Cold. Like, and that just stood out to me how, and then Stone, Stone Cold refusing to tap. Like, I'd rather pass out than tap. It just brought out a whole nother level of, of what's the word I'm looking for? Um, intensity. Intensity. How many, how many times at that time Nostalgia. did you see people bleed at that Thank time? Thank you. Blood was running through his teeth. And then the dude passed out. Mind you, you have Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock, the special, right? It was from UFC. That fight it really just gave it the feeling of this is that's real. the first fight that gave me chills. Yeah, and then really when Stone Cold refused to get help, he got up on his own, and the crowd started clapping for this nigga. No one really liked Stone Cold like that. Like he was just there. I'm not saying they didn't like him, but I felt like. That's catapult. That, that catapulted yeah, him. That, Niggas was made, like clapping. Was, yeah. That heart made Stone Cold a star. Had, you know, that match, he made, yeah. He said, the promo before WrestleMania, if I can quote, he said, I want to fight the best wrestler in the World Wrestling Federation today. And he said, that is Stone Cold Steve, Steve Austin. Austin. He called and the man no. out. Well, really Stone Cold called him out, but he called him out on TV. Exactly. And that that's what made Stone Cold a star. That, it, and that, that, and that started Attitude Era, right? Yeah. So this is... Well, did, you got it. You got, you got just one? Just real quick. Just real quick. I, I just want to go on something on that. I don't and, 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 and I pass real, the rock. Real, yeah, real, I'm real, on, real, but we're going to jump on that, right? It's all, it's and I pass the ball. Real quick. That's good. All right. I'm going to pass the ball. So I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go on my Thanksgiving mood on and carve it up like a turkey. I'm going to just keep it simple and say like this. It uh, did have a lot. Do you agree or disagree with my take first on 
would you ask me in regards of? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't, bro. I feel like that. Uh, yo, y'all you know what's funny? Make sure y'all comment with y'all agree or disagree with what we, I, with me and Sean just what? tag team just you know do what? You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm, I'm not going to necessarily disagree. Okay. I'm, I'm going to I'll try to that. put my hater away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going with it, and and that's what I'm, I'm going to keep it like that. Like I'm not I'm not going to go with it. I'm not I'm not going to go with it. Um, I, I'm going to go with a different route. But I'm going to let my brother rebuttal on that one too, though. Um, I'm going to sit here and just say this, and maybe you guys probably going to disagree with me, but I think Stone Cold became a star, the King of the Ring. Thank you. When he came out with Austin 316. Thank you. I think that's what made him a star. Thank you. And I, I, I just, I, that's just me. That's I just think, I just think star. that's what, I think that's what catapulted him to superstar. That didn't catapult him. That made Stone Cold Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Right. right. It made him Stone Cold. The, but um, it didn't make him, a, it didn't make him a household. Yeah, name. it didn't make him a household name yet. But what? They didn't. Well, let me, let me that was the first shirt. Come on, come on, come on, hold on, hold on. No, that was I'm, the first one. My nigga, the, it, they the made room. the shirt. 24 hours after the fucking King of the Again, Ring. And guess yeah, what? They didn't get as the, many titles. It don't, bro. It not, don't, it's not even about the titles. Thank bro. you. But yo, you're, you're, you're right. You're right. Name. <laughs> this shit sold bro, out. That made him a household name. That 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 helped boost him up. But yo, the what catapulted Stone Cold was that match with Bret Hart. He was the main event after that. He yeah, was, he was he the was face. The I feel like after that, that he was slowly becoming the face of wrestling. Um, after that match, yo. I, well, listen. I just, I just, I just think and that when he has the Austin three sixteen. I just remember that yeah, shirt was the same. But bro, that just made Stone Cold's NWO. character. That made I'm, his I'm character. Just, was. I'm just it no, was. I'm just saying as far as the shirt's concerned, it was the equivalency to NWO. There was people that had NWO shirts and all you saw was NWO, NWO, NWO. At one point in time, all you saw was Austin three six. Not as shirts. soon as not as soon as it not, yes. Not as yes. As no. yes. Yes. Bro. After that they, match, it was they made it that. The, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, they made it twenty four hours. They made it either the twenty four hours or the following week. The following week they they put the shirts on the stands and them bitches were sold the fuck out. Uh, okay. Because it was a whole new wave. This they had Austin three sixteen signs the following week. You're right, night. you're right, you're right, you're right. But yo, that Made Stone Cold Steve Austin stepping Stone stone. Cold Steve Austin. That was like a stepping stone. Like a but Bret Hart elevated him because Stone Cold at the time Stone Cold was just this angry dude just walking around just saying I'm breaking all the rules and blah 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 blah. But he and wasn't. Re- he was a red master. They, 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 yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. They took the million dollar belt off him because that was corny. They cut it. <laughs> Thank his you. Oh no, no, yeah, I ain't going that far back. I ain't going that far back. We don't need to go that far. Yeah, I ain't going that far back. I knew. When you talk about the evolution of who he became. The King of the Ring was like the you may now come, you may now enter into yes uh, superstardom, but then he became the main event. Still, he see Boston after the Bret Hart match. No, that's man. what I no. agree. I agree. No, I agree. he already won a Royal Rumble at that point. Even though it didn't mean shit at that the end of the day. That Royal Rumble was the most pointless Royal Rumble win ever. But no, it's not. It was, not, not no, I'm not going to say pointless. I'm not going to say pointless. He didn't, he but didn't get it, the fight in the main event. Exactly. Because that's where he cheated. Yeah, he cheated. He cheated. He cheated. He cheated. He threw, he threw, Man, <laughs> he cheated Undertaker and Vader and some other nigga. It was Undertaker and Vader and then some other nigga. Yeah, yo, who won the main event that year? Undertaker it was Undertaker, right? right? It was Undertaker versus Sid like, that yeah, that yeah, yeah. Thir- uh, for thirteen. But they fought at a. Uh, it was a fatal four way that they fought in for the uh, right to fight for the title. That was right. Okay, yeah, that. I do remember that. Yeah. Right, it was. Yeah, it was a pay per view before uh, WrestleMania. But um, so yeah, I I, I, I I mean I don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, at the end of the day Austin was bigger before then, because like I, he was he was a rising star at that point and all that was just a stepping stone. It was not no. 
fucking rocking to the back, and he was a, he was a made man. I think again, it was. He was still fighting. Yeah. Bro, he was still fighting with Brett, Brett the whole time, just like this ass clown said that the nigga was in main events. No, he wasn't. He didn't get into another motherfucking main event until motherfucking a Canadian stampede, where it was what not just him. A whole bunch of other niggas. Then it was a cold day in hell when he fought Undertaker one on one. That was his other main event. But then after that, guess what? He didn't main event again until WrestleMania fucking fourteen. But that at the WrestleMania. Um, so now are we talking? Are we? We say main event. I'm saying like for example, he's the he's the main portion of the show. But, but portion. you also got to take account about that he broke his neck too with Owen. So true, he was true, also true, injured true, true. Yeah. for a short amount Another of time. Another heart. True. Yeah. Oh, Another but, heart. And that's what I'm saying. So, and, but, and that, that just set him back. But I think well, that's that... That's a piece on heart, but you wasn't shit for that. Yo. And I, I'm not, not going to say that because things happen in the league. Yeah. No, no, nigga. No, nigga. He did. Well, the, not, I mean, Owen no, was nigga. Because the bad thing well, come is, come on. Owen never really had people complain about. He yeah, didn't. He was a Seth Rollins. Yeah, he didn't. But the, he didn't injure people all the time. Yeah, he didn't. But the crazy part is, they 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 redid the storyline. When you remember Dan Severin when he was part of the WWE in the Attitude Era, yes. where they had Ken Shamrock and shit. Yeah. So they reenact, they redid the shit, and they were gonna play into the whole thing that he basically did the same exact thing that he did to Austin. He was doing it to Dan Severin, right? Right. And he was supposed to play on that. Guess what? Nigga, it was not no play. He spiked his ass too. He spiked him too. He was I actually... I don't he remember was actually, actually, so I can't oh, speak I know, on Hey, man, listen. I'm sorry, I just can't speak on somebody. WWE Network, Nick. <laughs> I don't remember him hurting Dan Severin. He did. Hey, like I said, hey, I'll, I'll pull up the tape for him. I yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yup, look, look, I mean, I've been watching for a long time, so so many matches I could pick. My nigga, pick a match. What the fuck? Wait, wait. You pick a match, dog. Uh, you already <laughs> late. We don't need you going to a dialogue and shit. Hey, fuck. <laughs> Um, Damn! <laughs> like, I gotta think, you I gotta can't think. clock in late and ask when lunch is. You know right, what I mean? Right, exactly. <laughs> and what's on the menu? Right. Too. <laughs> like the fuck? See, I don't worry about picks. So I gotta go. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Bret Hart versus Curtis. Uh, Bret versus Curtis. Kurt Henning. That Mr. Perfect. Me, Mr. Respect Perfect. that man. Okay, that was good. Um, here's where I say that. Those guys had two legendary matches: the King of the Ring, outstanding match, but the most Notable match was SummerSlam. Yeah. Um, right. That match was one of those matches that took, and I was an Ultimate Warfare fan growing up, but he put some stink on the Intercontinental title. He took that. Back in memory lane, I'm gonna go with because I had so many great memories of wrestling. We all do. That's why we're here. But the one that pops out of my head the most at the youth center at summer day camp when we went to Discovery Zone. Chip. Anybody remember DZ DC Discovery Chip. Zone? Oh yeah, <laughs> it was it. It was the most lit spot. My favorite birthday spot other than Vegas being a grown adult at this point. But when I'm talking about when I was little, my favorite spot was DZ. But when we went on a summer camp to Discovery Zone, everybody was, we made them into wrestling fans. Even if they didn't watch wrestling, they loved wrestling because of me and my brother. So when we went there at that time, they just so happened to be doing a WWF blend with Discovery Zone. And so that's when they were giving away the Undertaker posters, Triple H poster. Ahmed Johnson. Ahmed Johnson, and there was one more. They had Bret Hart, and they had Shawn Michaels. They had Bret Hart and Shawn. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They had them. But then we decided, but like, let me just get to the great, the greatness is when we had the Moon Bounce Royal Rumble. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> because, yo, so many people were getting hurt. And it was like, but it was all good because it was a Moon Bounce. <laughs> but I will never forget. The greatest elbow drop I ever done in my life is when I was in the corner 
and somebody, I don't know who it was, that was trying to get out the ring, trying to slide out. But I didn't want him to just slide out just yet. <laughs> I needed him to go away with something. So I said, you, hey, from the corner like Shawn Michaels, hey, with the elbow drop. And he was like, oh, oh. And he just felt the ring and listen, that yes. was epic. That was definitely memory lane for me. I Stop. love that epic moment of that Moon Bounce Battle Royal. Shout out to the Youth Center Summer Day Camp, baby. Cheer. Yeah, man, what's yours at, man? You know, a memory that like really sticks in my brain is with the very first WCW versus NWO game drop. Now, you gotta bear with me with this because it was just too epic and it was on the N64 console. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it used to make me mad because they had these two different wrestling organizations. They had DOA and they had the Independent Union. About it, like anybody in the Independent Union, <laughs> but if you got through the game with the Independent Union, you got Glacier. And for some reason, in this game, they made Glacier just unstoppable. That and I don't know why he was so good. I'm just like, why is Glacier so good? But I always wanted to be Glacier, and he did have the super kick. Yo, he used to, he used to line you up. You know what I'm saying? That's why he'd be like, <laughs> like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I didn't understand why it was so devastating for me. But I just love playing that original WCW versus NWO game. And that transfer, we used to go to the pool. You know what I mean? We used to be having the battle royales in the pool. Everybody get hit with German suplex. Before Brock Lesnar, there was no suplex city. It was my suplex. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was just some memories for me. It's more fun. Yes, you dig? All right, so boom. I'm, I'm in seventh grade, right? Uh -huh. I just had a parent-teacher conference. <laughs> just got in trouble. And my teacher was like, Mike, why are you always in trouble? Can you just last one day without getting into any trouble? I said, you know what? Tomorrow, I'm going to be on my best behavior. Whole day, I'm doing my thing. Quiet. I'm sitting down. I ain't saying shit to nobody. <laughs> I made a promise. I'm going to be good. Seventh period. The last 10 minutes left of class, the teacher, it was Thanksgiving. She goes, all right, guys, um, before we go, what did the pilgrims eat with, uh, with the Indians for Thanksgiving? Oh. Uh the spirit of rock took over. Oh. I yelled out, Putang Pai! <laughs> got in trouble. Long story short, got sent to the office, 10 minutes left, got in trouble, got my ass whooped, and um, I just couldn't help it, bro. It's Damn. just, that's one of my the rock Yeah, shit. The Rock. Yeesh. That was when The Rock was just taking over with the phrases, the, it doesn't matter, the Putang, all that, so. It's just, it made it worse, cause like, you know when you say something funny, you know, but the class laughs and makes it worse. The whole class is laughing. I was being this shit. I wasn't trying to be that funny, but I think the class laughed and made it even worse for me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 makes it happen. Yeah, they yeah. That yeah, they gas it, it up. You know what I'm saying? And I remember this Miss Grossman was just like, oh my. <laughs> like you had ten minutes, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's my memory lane, man. So. I forget <laughs> that. Yo, I like that. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty Brown. Yeah, you, you got memory. Okay, dirty. Whatever your name is. Anyways, that was a good so one. now I had, a, I, I had to uh, call him out because he lied. So, oh. Monday Night Nitro used to come on twice. Oh. There used to be an original segment and like a midnight segment. Mm -hmm. So I used to go to Town Point Elementary. I was say, <laughs> my brother wakes me up like, yo, because he watched Monday Night Raw. Right. He didn't watch Nitro. He watched Nitro the midnight that's segment. That's why you're my guy. He was hey, older yeah, yeah, than me. Yeah, he was older right. than me, so he could stay Nitro. out. So back in the day, when we was in Bay Tree. I had a little tiny TV in the corner, and my bed was in the back. So I could see the light there, and I'm like, I woke up. He's like, you gotta see this. You gotta see this. Kevin Nash throws Rey Mysterio like a dart to a trailer. <laughs> yeah. oh, he believed it so much. I don't call that. The ambulance were coming down. Stingless Luger was out there. He was like, man, everybody looks really hurt. <laughs> he bought into it. He worked out. He bought into it like a true mark. Kids. He was a fan. Don't do drugs. He was, NW, do drugs. he was an NWO fanboy for a night. Wow. He a night wow. He night wow. Night. And it's the truth. Wow. He pulled your card. Oh, I think that's a big ass fucking lie, man. <laughs> it was the truth. He pulled you a fanboy. Yeah. He knows it's true. Really he used to watch boy. Monday Night Raw. He bought you watch Nitro. 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 Nitro.
Anyone who watches knows I'm not lying. No. His night used to come on twice. They know you're a big fucking liar. And he used to watch the second season of Nitro. They know you're a big fucking liar. It was like me too. It might have been like even 2 in the morning, matter of fact. I don't know. That it was I know you're OD and And he was watching Monday Night Nitro. I was watching Three Stooges past 12 o'clock, my nigga. Oh, I got it. That's the next one. Three Stooges. I used to watch. Hey, I was watching Three Stooges back in the day. Yeah, uh, marked out for the NWO. Where well, fuck them niggas. All right. I can bet, bet. That was a good segment. So yeah. let's let's have an ending segment. So over. listen. With no further delay, we will bid you adieu. That was the first episode of a Wrestling with Will and Me podcast. Yes, sir. Fellas, close it out. Cheers. Hey, man. Cheers. We want to thank y'all personally once again for embarking on this incredible journey known as our first episode of When Wrestling Was Real to Me. Um, I want to thank my brothers here for their efforts. Thank wanna, you. Hold on. We're yeah. back. We about to fucking celebrate. You hear me? I heard that. I heard that. We got to shout our guys out. Oh yeah, definitely want to make sure guys, we're man. gonna have to make sure we plug in. Ant-Man. You know what I mean? Go ahead. This is all you. This is all you, big dog. No, we gotta shout him out. I got you. I got you. We gotta shout him out. He. This was this was his brilliant idea. You, you know so before saying. we go, yeah, before we go, we want to make sure that we always show love. Listen, y'all, we we out here. We show them local businesses love. We ain't asking for much. Just show us some blessings, and we show you all blessings. Yeah. Right here, you know what I'm saying? We got some crabs, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's what we do. It's a delicacy. We like to eat them out this way. But we know we want to give thanks, special thanks to Eastern Shore Seafood Incorporated. You know what I'm saying? They're located 2626 South DuPont Highway in Smyrna, Delaware. They hooked us up with some crabs. Bless you know, they're, they're very, very nice people. Uh... Please show them some support. They're showing us some support, and we really appreciate them. And happy that they're part of the When Wrestling Was Built to Me family. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we about to eat. We about to celebrate. This is a big it. milestone for us. And yo, yes, we about yes. to grab, dog. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see y'all next week for episode two. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, let's get it. Hey, Damn man. It. Until Definitely. next time. Yes, sir. Ski, I'm about to get these crabs. Yes. Got two words for you. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>